before the game they seem to have a bit of everything they've got if you want to they can dig out a result they can be tight and compact but they've also got so much flair in there they've got Griezmann they've got Mbappe not quite sure See? who Pogba's signaling to yeah. there. he's talking to the people that are talking about him who've yeah. been hammering him for the last year yeah. these players that's the strength of character that's what's been shown today throughout this tournament that's character you, you use people's negative energy as, as, as fuel sometimes and I think that's where he's at Antoine Griezmann there, one of the goal scorers in this final from a penalty that um, will be talked about uh, for many a day, I suspect. And it's, uh, it's probably for the best, Alan, that it wasn't the one, it didn't ultimately decide well, yeah. the outcome. That's, that's what I was hoping at, uh, at half-time, that we're going to get more goals, because I, di I didn't want that decision um, to, to rest on being so huge in, in, a, in, a, in a World Cup final because it would have been so unfair because we've had a magnificent World Cup from start to finish and I just didn't want that yeah. decision to well, decide as, it. As you mentioned it, uh, let's have a, another look at it. It's, it's The corner comes over, the referee doesn't give handball, uh, so therefore he's been told by the VAR operators that he should have a look at it. Um, therefore, it is a VAR decision, whatever people may... <laughs> May yeah, that's, that is disagree. right. That, that, that's what the system VAR is there for. He still, ultimately, he still makes the decision. He can take advice from the other referees, which he might have, because he took so long to make the decision. Now, if the decision is clear and obvious, you have one or two looks and you make your decision and say, yeah, clear error or no, I've got it, uh, I've got it right. But in, in the time that he was taken, the three or four minutes, whatever it was, then he went back again, tells you it is not clear and obvious. And I know he makes a decision ultimately, but VAR and also, is there for that system and, for him to look at. And don't, and don't forget, when he, when he makes that signal, that means video-assisted referees referee. have helped him to make the decision what he felt was right at the time. We beg to differ, or don't we? No, no, I, I think it was the wrong decision, mm. completely. And, and, but at the end of the day, we can sit here and argue about it, it's happened. But what it does bring to the table is some entertainment. That's, the, that's what, throughout this tournament, it's entertained us in, in, in certain ways. And, and yes, the, the, the Croatian team, I'm sure, will be hard done by with, with this. It but wasn't brought it in has, for entertainment, it, no, though. It, it was brought in to yeah, cl for it, clear and obvious it was to howlers it, like Maradona's yeah, handball yeah. And, and like the uh, handball Thierry Henry or some, something like that. And by and large in the tournament, it's, it's done, it, well it's done that. Yeah. It's just, yeah. 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 I think in nine out of ten occasions throughout yeah. the World yeah. Cup, it's done well. Yeah. In this occasion, not. I mean, very, very unfortunate for the Croatian side. I mean, they've played such a brilliant tournament, mm. but it is what it is. Yeah, it is indeed. Uh, Paul Pogba came to the fore in the second half. I mean, it, that all-important goal to take them two goals clear started with a fabulous pass this, from him. This is... That's naughty. Like that's naughty. He shouldn't, be, he shouldn't even be thinking about <laughs> playing that pass. But the weight of the pass, the execution of it on the volley, no. like, it's such a difficult skill to, 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 to do. But then the ball, the cut back here, Couple of touches from Green. He gets two bites of the cherry, scuffs this one, but guides that one beautifully with his left foot into the into the corner. But I mean, again, look, he plays the ball. He doesn't just admire that pass. A lot of players would just sit and admire. He thinks, no, I'm going to catch up with a play. It might, I might have a chance of coming coming to me. And when it does, yeah. Subisic can't see it. The goalkeeper can. He just takes a step to his left hand side to see the ball. And once he did that, there, yeah. he's got no chance of getting back in. Yeah, he's trying to see it, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. It's a lovely finish. We're speculating yeah. a little bit there. Mm. Yeah. And we also saw some great work there after the pass from Pogba by uh, Kylian Mbappe, who then went, well, there's more celebrations there. They're <laughs> continuing on the pitch. Hugo Lloris would be probably a little Icelandic? bit relieved, I would imagine. Is that the Icelandic celebration of Pogba? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure oh, they no. do it as well, but maybe they do. <laughs> uh, the celebrations will go on and on and on. We're talking about Kylian Mbappe. I mean, astonishing, really, when you, you, you realise that he's still... 19 years old, he's a teenager. Mm. He wasn't born the last time France won the World Cup, which was only 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, what a superstar he's going to be. He it already is. is. He is, yeah, exactly. I don't, he, I don't think it was a shock to see him come in and do that. We all, we've all seen clips of him over the last two seasons in the Champions League and lighting that up. But to come to a World Cup with the pressure on, with all eyes on you, to do this at 19 years old, and I think the most impressive thing, other than you see with his, the, the obvious with his pace and directness, etc. What a great strike! Back intelligence to, to do that. It's, it's the intelligence and his decision making. He makes the right decision so often, which is a player beyond his beyond his years. Already, 
there's a maturity to his uh, to his game because the defender Vida there he knows how quick he is he knows how skillful he is how intelligent he is so he doesn't close him down because he knows that if he does he can he's got the ability to move the ball ball quickly and go past him so he decided to stand off him and he thought okay fine I'm gonna have a shot then remarkably Paul Pogba was the first uh, player to score from outside the penalty area in a World Cup final since Italy's Marco Tardelli in 1982 and then a couple of minutes later <laughs> it's, it's someone else does it you wait all that time yeah. for a bus to come lovely, along lovely finish. Uh, where does where does Mbappe sit I suppose the frightening thing about uh, the youngster is that there's still lots to come from him isn't it there's lots of improvement he's still relatively raw in certain mm. areas and I, I think that's the exciting part of it I mean there's so much to come now down the road I mean he's shaking up the entire transfer market you know because mm. uh, with the Ronaldo move now to Italy and you know what his name are doing maybe Eden Hazard goes to Real Madrid or where is this finishing with uh, with this young kid but what really impresses me most is how he seems to be just part of that French team that's kind of a family environment it seems like you know they they took him all under their wings and carried him through and delivered to him and he feels just so calm he feels so comfortable in that side so that it, it seems like he's played for them mm -hmm. since 10 years he, he is really the, he, the, he's the guy that um, the Cristiano and yeah. Messi are handing over. Yeah, it's they're the handing the crown over. Superstar. Yeah, he's the guy who's going to be up there on that that, that podium yeah. for the Ballon d'Or well, for the next those, ten years. One easy. of those guys way back, sixty years ago, um, Pele. Um, let's have a look at Pele. Right. I hope my old club's chasing him. I hope they've got the checkbook open and saying whatever it costs will take you because he's connection Rest with uh, oh, Manchester. United. <laughs> <laughs> The way West Ham are spending cash at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised. But, yeah. but no, his connection with Pogba as well, there's a, there's, there's, yeah. there's a little connection there. Even yeah. you saw the pass for, the, for Pogba's goal before he, he caught yeah, up the not play. a little connection. This is a big connection yeah, exactly. they have, these yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. OK, um, let's um, pop back to the Luzhniki, have a look at uh, a few more of the celebrate. There you go, a bit of Pogba there. We've seen that on social media at some point, Rio. You'd... Yeah, well, if you, win, if you win trophies and you win the World Cup, you can do what you like. Trust <laughs> me. That's great. As long as you've got a Manchester bit of Manchester United and Manchester City players just um, celebrating together there. Yeah, I don't like that, but um, no, I'm, joking, <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. They've won the World Cup, you can yeah, do what you like. The shop's getting that's, it again. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what we were saying to Jürgen today when Jürgen was at breakfast this morning. He's, Jürgen was saying, do we have to wear um, jacket and tie for the final? I said, Jürgen, you've won the World Cup, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> you can get away with whatever you want. It's stunning, really. I mean, the, the, the way the whole France thing, the way they played in this whole tournament, they've... they've They've played all sorts of different kinds of football, haven't they? Sometimes they've sat deep knit on the counter. Against Argentina, they went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, didn't they? Well, we, we looked at the media reports we were talking about earlier. The Belgium lads said it was anti-football the way they played against Belgium. Mm. But, like you said, they've been criticised in the group stages as well. But the way they've played, they've adapted to each and every opponent they've played against. And that's, that's a sign of a, a great coach, yeah. Yeah. staff and a team that can be adaptable. To win things, you can't just keep playing your own way. That's sometimes special team can do that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, they got the job done. And when people look back on it in the record books, they won't go, oh, they didn't really play that good football. And the players will be sitting on the beach this summer going, you know what, I don't care how we've done it, we got, and, we got and the, they the also, medal. And they also had two players that scored four goals each. And I think it, we, we should congratulate Harry Kane. Harry Kane has won uh, yes. the golden boot. So uh, well done, Harry. Um, <laughs> England have won something at this uh, World <laughs> Cup anyway. Uh, France beat Argentina, they beat Uruguay, they beat Belgium and then they beat Croatia in the final. I mean, that's, that's a tough run in anybody's book. They've got, they've got, a, they've got a, a great spine right throughout the middle of the team. When you look at Lloris, when you look at Varane, who I thought was, was immense again. And TT as well. Yeah, and TT, yeah. And Pogba in there, Kante. Uh, no in real there. weakness in that side. No, I think that the hardest part for him is probably... He's probably picking, picking the actual squad because there's that much players in the squad. But you look at Giroud, Giroud doesn't hit no. the target in the whole tournament. No. But he's got a, a, a World Cup winner's yeah. medal, so he, he's done he a won't job. be bothered. He's done a job. I mean, yeah, he's a goal he did the work for the team. Yeah. Exactly. He put team. himself totally you know, at his disposal for the team. And this is mm. a, a great example. A, a great yeah. compliment, compliment as well. Yeah. Mm. Um, now, Didier Deschamps has done a tremendous job because yeah. he took every single game 1,000% seriously. Mm. You know, and he kind of changed little pieces you know where a lot of people can say whatever they want to but he adjusted from game to game to game and it's seven games in a row that you have to do that and he did it and uh, uh, he yeah. deserves a huge compliment it's been a World Cup of extraordinary events and um, extraordinary goings on and um, <laughs> the sixth goal in that game from Mandzukic was, was, oh. was an next um, moment of madness from Hugo Lloris Rio we was all sitting here just gasped like we was what, what is he doing what was he thinking is that every part of, about this is wrong like he's, 
go away from where the forward's coming from. But he actually goes to go back. It's like he's almost thinking, you know what, I need to get on the show real and put... He just, like, he's tried to meg him. I don't know what he's tried to do. I can't actually work it out. It's weird. In the main, he's, he's, he's been a, a, a very good goalkeeper in this tournament. And he'll be relieved that they've gone on to win it after, after an error like that. The awards are, are, are going to start very shortly. They're a little bit delayed, apparently. But who's going to win the Golden Glove, do you think? Courtois? Courtois, yeah. Courtois. I suppose Courtois, Lloris were the prime. Pickford was, was very good Pick as well. Pickford. Yeah, Subasic had a, a, a let four in, in the final. I don't, mm. Do they wait, do you know, until after the final or do they make the decisions prior to the final? I don't know. I wonder. Jürgen make a big that, difference, yeah. though, wouldn't well, it? Uh, on, we, on we, what we would hope that they wait until the game is over. I think maybe Lloris, I mean, he played a tremendous tournament, but that costs him probably the Golden Glove, that goal, you know. And I think Courtois had an outstanding tournament uh, um, throughout. Let's, you know, let's so. remind ourselves of um, the, the first half of goals and um, well, lots of controversy, weren't they? Certainly with, uh, well, Home goal, wasn't we've, it? Seen the, we've seen the VAR one already, but even this one as well. Like, was this a foul on Griezmann? Don't we don't so. think so. We don't think it was, uh, we don't think so. No, it doesn't no. look it, does it? No. But when these opportunities come, he obviously he's conned the ref a little bit there, but. When these opportunities come, you've still got to put, put it in yeah. place to, to do that. But yeah, the Croatian backline needs to get up to create that space between them and the goalkeeper so he can actually make a decision and do something about it here. If whatever happens, he cannot react. There's no space, there's no time. There's talk so, of offside with Pogba. Does he interfere enough with Mandzukic? It's, I mean, no. it's so tight. Oh, it's very, very tight, isn't it? I don't, uh, I don't think that's offside at all. No. And obviously, he doesn't get ahead on it, but he gets close to him at the end. But... But in these kind of games, it's, it's, it's details, little details that decide games or turn games on their head. And this is what you have to deal with. And you have to say to, about Croatia, once these decisions happened and they, they win a goal down and it went 2-1, the reaction of the team, that they can only be credited for that. Yeah, they're proud of themselves, but they must feel a bit hard done to yeah. on, on over the 90 minutes, Jürgen. Yeah, especially on the penalty. I, I, yeah. I think, you know, this is still a defensive mistake. You know, they should have pushed it higher up, you know, on the free kick. And then uh, an own goal is always very, very unlucky. But, but uh, uh, I mean, imagine now the, how that nation is proud of their team. You know, the, the Croatian team will go back to, to, heroes. to they will be heroes. I mean, and there's more to come. I think you know this this team is even hungrier for the next tournament. You know, it has so much class, it has so much quality in their side. But uh, it's small pieces, small little details that decide a game like that. They, they, they do deserve great credit because they kept on going to be behind in every knockout game, yeah. to go to extra time, to pick yourself up, to keep on going. Again, in, the, uh, in, in, in this uh, final here, to, to go behind in, in controversial circumstances, then to have the energy to, uh, to pick themselves up and come back again and, and to make it into to the final that it, that it was. Yeah, they, they go back heroes and rightly so. Uh, don't, don't worry uh, uh, if you're watching at home and thinking we might be missing the um, presentation. Uh, you're not. It's been, uh, been quite significantly delayed. Um, so, but we'll pop there as soon as they start dishing out uh, the various awards and, of course, the big one, uh, the World Cup trophy itself. Uh, Perisic, one of the goal, one of them, what, terrific goal, wasn't it? Excellent. Yeah, I mean, in, in the semi-final especially, and then today, he, he was quite outstanding. I mean, here, France should... They have three opportunities to clear the ball, they don't take any of them, and then when the ball falls to him, his footwork here, great touch with his right foot, and the, the strike, yeah. pure as you like, great strike. Right, a little bit around. But, yeah, he, he was fantastic today, and the, his drive, his determination, and then his quality when he gets in positions like this, that's why he's, he's, he was earmarked before the tournament as a, as a, as a threat, as a danger. But that goal really shows you the character of the team because, you know, as, as Rio said, they could have cleared it three, four times, but they've won every one-on-one -on -one battle in the first half, Croatia. Yeah. Every one-on-one -on -one battle, they threw themselves in there. And this is a, a goal of pure de determination and obviously class from, yeah. from Perisic, but that was... Uh, the whole first half belonged uh, to Croatia. They've shown great character right throughout the tournament. Yeah, they have. As I said, going behind in every knockout game, extra time. Having the belief. Uh, so three in, times, in three coach. times extra time. That's a whole game. Yeah. Exactly. Ninety yeah. minutes. No. Who would you give the? Um, we're about to find out. But who would you give the Ballon d'Or to? Or not the Ballon d'Or, the Golden Ball. Golden Ball. Uh, I think uh, tight. It was tight before this. I was leaning towards uh, Modric oh. before this game because I think he, he, he's controlled the pace of the game along with Rakitic for for this very very good Croatian team and got onto a final. But I can't get my head away from. From Mbappe, Mbappe 19, 19 years old. Imagine, even the yeah. fact that we're talking about the yeah. possibility that he could win it is, yeah. is and, and, and incredible. And what, what's unbelievable about it is that at 19 years old, he's already got defenders on the back foot 
with, with just getting the ball. He gets on the ball, immediately defenders are now backing off because yeah. they know what he's capable of. And he's, he, he, what he is, he's, he's direct, he drives at people. And defenders don't like having to defend like that. And he, he is a player who's just yeah. so refreshing to see. Pr prior to this game, most of the talk was really either with either Modric or possibly Kante or even De Bruyne, mm. who's, who also yeah. had a wonderful well, I said, I, I said, as well. I said before the game, yeah. didn't I, is that it's, I think it, this game had the, t the, the two outstanding players yeah. and whoever was to perform the best, and whether that be Modric or whether that would be Mbappe, I think would, um, would yeah. be the, the player of the tournament. And, Mbappe did that in, mm. in this game today. Look, his, his, his energy and his drive and his, his intelligence, yeah. and, and of course to top it off with a with goal, then I think he should get it. Mm. I think we can have a, a look at um, some of the things that he did today, some of the best things, and uh, there are plenty of them, like the semi final where he was uh, incredible. Mm. Yeah, defensively. I mean, we've, we, we've not spoken too much about him defensively, but he's, he's doing his, his bit for the, uh, for the team here. This is the, probably the, the one occasion in the first half where he, uh, where he was able to, to get a bit of space and, and show, what he's, uh, show what he's got. So he was not there in the first half. Really. Well, can he move? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he couldn't find ways to get through there first half, but then second half he turned it on. Mm -hmm. But what he is is what he does. He doesn't panic. He's, not, he's, he's out of the game. Very mature. His maturity just calm. allows him to just still feel comfortable even when he's not receiving the ball. He holds his position. That's another part of his intelligence. He isn't just going searching. You see a lot of young players, especially you play wide. Look at his pace here. <laughs> that play wide. They actually, when they're not in the game and not playing and not getting touches of the wow. ball, they go searching. Yeah. See, look at the fear. The fear in Vida there. <laughs> is How do you I've defend against that pace? I've been though. there, and, and all you think is help. Get see, the the the, the, see the defender there, though, Ria. He, he doesn't know what to do because, because he knows he can, he can shift the ball quickly. If he comes to him tight, he knows he can, he can knock it past him. Mm. But what I'm saying is, young players, they go searching and hunting for the ball, and that, that affects the team balance. He holds his position, he stays wide for the good of the team because he knows it will come to me at some point, then I'll make my difference. Yeah. Uh, another player who's excelled in, in this tournament and indeed in the final and scored the goal uh, prior to Mbappe was uh, Paul Pogba and both sides defensively, um, attacking wise, he was excellent wasn't he? I think he, he really deserves uh, all the compliments in the world. You know, he, he accepted the fact that you know, it was not smooth in the beginning, in the first half, uh, he had to fight his way into this into this game. Um, things didn't look so well, you know, over the first half an hour. But then, then he came out of out of the shell pretty much, and he started to play these vertical balls. Mm -hmm. He looked forward. He looked towards Mbappe. He looked forwards to uh, um, other players that he could find up there. He was alert. He was right there. Um, he, he, he also he, stepped it up defensively. He yeah. put his body in there. Yeah, and he made it his game. The second half, he made it his game. That's the part, through, a that's lot, my... through a lot of the tournament, it was a, it was a very, very good understanding with, uh, with Kante, wasn't it? That yeah. ball was my favourite ball of the tournament, yeah. that yeah. one. Pass of the tournament, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? That's my pass of the tournament, that. Yeah. And this is a beautiful finish, mm. a beautiful finish. But we've all known that he's had this under his bonnet. We all know what talent he's what, got. What's, what's been missing before? I what? think people have questioned his, his, his discipline in, in, in the well, midfield. He's not that he's been a bad player in any way, no, no, shape no, no. or form. I mean, I mean, what, what we've seen in the media and yeah. people, pundits, etc., have been questioning his discipline in a, in, a, in a midfield area, defensive responsibility, running back. He showed in this tournament, I've got all that, don't worry. But yeah. I don't, for some reason, it hasn't been, the, the jigsaw hasn't been put together properly yet in a Manchester United shirt. Because mm. I think it's, Jose Mourinho is, is going to really, I said it earlier, yeah. he's going to have to unlock this yeah. Paul Pogba in a Manchester United shirt. Why, why do you think he's not been able to do that particularly? I mean, he's, not, he's, he's been good, but without mm. being as great as he has been in this tournament. I'm not sure. I think Manchester United, some, <laughs> the way the team plays, maybe, I think, it, it, are they getting the ball to him in the right areas? You have to remember, when he played for Juventus, and the reason why Manchester United paid all that money for him was because he was affecting games. Yeah. He was affecting games with either passes or with, with goals, etc. But in the Manchester United shirt, he's, he's not receiving the ball off a a pillow so quickly sometimes. Sometimes the ball maybe is not getting to him quick enough in the right areas. Is he being put in the right positions at the start of the game in the, in the structure of the team? These are questions really. This is the question. This is why you're employed as a manager to work these things out. It helps when you've got Kante alongside you though. Yeah. Incredible how, play. how does it you know does it affect your confidence going on winning a World Cup for someone like these players? It'll make a massive difference for them, won't it? Going ahead to the next season, the season after that, being a World Cup winner, Jurgen? Is or does it add a bit of pressure? I don't know. Tell me. No, I, I think you know the, the 
there cannot be more pressure than there's on on these players already you know playing for such a huge club um, it will give him a lot of confidence now going back to his club and and uh, doing the next step there because this is this is all about recognition it's all about you know yeah having having achieved something very very special so so I think we're gonna see a uh, um, see him stepping it up in his club as well next year also he's got a player part in doing that as well of course uh, there it is <laughs> it's appeared finally uh, Philip Lahm's uh, brought it out maybe he just wanted to cling on to it for as long as he possibly could uh, who knows um, but um, it looks like they're getting close to, to that ceremony what a moment that must be Alan we could... We'll never know. We'll never know. Someone yeah, is, there's only one of one. us, but I've already asked him that. <laughs> should we leave? Time. Oh, should we just go now? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Do the, do the players actually get a, a miniature one, the, the ones that win it, Jürgen? Yes, all of the players get a, a, a mini version of the World Cup. I have it at home. And, uh, Where is it? Something. Where is it? It's actually my safe. <laughs> <laughs> because big, I, I feel that some, uh, some workers coming by maybe take it away. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, Vladimir Putin alongside Jim. Annie Infantino, the president of FIFA, and I think we saw uh, President Macron as well holding hands there. That's Davos Suko. With Davos Suko there as well, of course. You have to say, it's been a wonderful World Cup. It has been a wonderful, us, even for just people walking around the streets and speaking to people. Moscow, we've been here the whole time, but generally, I think from what everyone says, it's been a fantastic, fantastic World Cup. I've enjoyed it. Well, it looks like uh, they're getting ready to make the presentations to the two sides. Um, the golden there is ball. Kylian Mbappe. Is that young receiving. That's the young player trophy. That's the first trophy received. I didn't think there was ever going to be any slight doubt about that. And um, there is with the Croatian president, Kalinda Gravar Katarovic, also there alongside uh, President Macron, of course. And uh, Kylian Mbappe. Well, I think that's. Uh, the first of many, many trophies for that young man. And who knows, he might get, might get a golden version uh, in uh, just a few minutes' time. Uh, we'll see. What a performance from him. Magnificent. I don't think there are any other words that we can um, use to dis describe him uh, and his performances in this, uh, in this World Cup. It's been superb. The next award should have been the uh, golden boot, but um, that um, Harry Kane is at home or on his way home, so um, they've skipped to the golden, uh, the golden ball. The player of the tournament is Luka Modric, and um, I don't think anyone would um, necessarily argue with that. And he's been a magnificent in this tournament from the very first kick. He's played more minutes uh, than any other player. He's run more kilometres than any other player, and he's hugged there by his president. Fabulous achievement. Alan. Yeah, he, he um, not so much the second half today, but certainly in other games. He, he played the, pay, the game at his pace. He controlled games, uh, and he, 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 he really was and is a, a special footballer. Beautiful footballer, Jürgen. I, I, I think he really deserves that uh, uh, recognition there. Um, I mean, he carried his team through through the tournament, you know, three times, as we said, extra time. And so he's, he's the face of that team. And I think it's the right decision to give him the, the golden ball. Uh, the next one, I believe, will be the um, golden glove. Um, but the golden gloves missed as well, so um, Courtois. That must mean probably that it's um, Courtois. I imagine because he's obviously not there either. Um, we'll get information to you as quickly as uh, we can as that. They've just announced that uh, Harry Kane has won the golden boot, but that's just a statistic, so we uh, know we knew that anyway. What does that feel like, Gary? Does that stop you bleating on? Is, is that the... <laughs> what was it, 32 years? It's something like it's long overdue. I've been I'm desperately short of company for a long time. So I'm absolutely thrilled. Congratulations, Harry Kane. Yeah. <laughs> so it's now the um, turn of the um, referees. I don't know if the crowds will be uh, tapping this guy. And uh, Nestor Pitana uh, goes forth. Uh, he'll look back on his... Um, First half performance with some interest, I suspect, but he's um, he's a top referee. He's been a great referee uh, for many years and had some great games in this tournament. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what FIFA think uh, to the VAR decision, won't it, and what they say about it in the aftermath. It will be, yeah. I mean, we didn't uh, obviously we didn't agree with his decision in that uh, in the first half, um, and it did change the game. 
Refereeing, has, do you think it's been improved by VAR overall, though, Rio, in this tournament? Yeah, Given them a helping hand that perhaps yeah. they've always needed? I think it's the helping hand they've needed, definitely. I think I wasn't one for adding VAR to, to football, but I think now it's here and we've had the use of this type of technology. I think it's, it's definitely makes for a more entertaining spectacle, and I think they're getting more decisions right than not.